making stars 1980 i hope everyone is doing well so in this video i am reviewing this beautiful hair by her giving hair and this hair is their kinky blowout collection and i must say i am absolutely in love with this hair and i'm like do not want to take it out and the crazy thing about this hair is that everyone thinks it's mine. I put a few pictures up on Instagram already and you guys are literally like, oh my gosh, is that your hair? Your hair is so beautiful. Like people really thinking this is my hair. Like asking me, you know, telling me that my hair has grown so long, so fast. And I'm like, girl, it's not mine. I even put hashtag her giving hair. <laughs> and they're still asking me, you know, how did I grow my hair so fast or whatever. So anyway, um, I am just loving this hair. It's just so gorgeous. Like, girl, it looks just like, just look, it's, it just looks like it belongs. You know, it belongs, you know? <laughs> so anyway, in this video, I'm going to really focus on how to make the hair look like your hair, like it's really grown out of your scalp. So that's what this video is going to focus on, show you guys how I really made this look so natural. So anyways, enjoy the video. Definitely check out Her Giving Hair. All the links will be in the description box below. And watch all of the other videos I did with this company and you'll learn even a lot more. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. So the hair came in this black box with the company logo on it. So what I got, I got a 18 inch closure. It's a 4x4 closure. So you can part the hair however you want within the closure. And then I got two 22 inches. The hairs are very full. The bundles are very full. They give you a lot of hair. And I also got a 24 inch bundle as well so that's a total of three bundles and one closure so this is the hair it's so nice and it just have that very nice low out kinky look so the first thing you want to do of course is wash the hair so i'm going to just go ahead and shampoo the hair and then i'm going to condition the hair as well i'm going to detangle the hair with a comb and you guys are going to see that the hair didn't really give me any shedding at all. It's a very nice quality of hair. That's why I really love this company. They really, really put effort in making sure that the hair is quality and not just quantity. So yeah. So I added a little bit of olive oil to my hair and then I went ahead and hung the hair to dry overnight. And then I'm going to show you guys how to make your hair look very natural I feel like this is the most important step when you have a closure so your hair don't look wiggy so as you guys can see here my hair is very thin in the front there my natural hair so I did I tweezed the closure so I just took out a bit of the hair so that way it could look like my natural hairline and as you guys can see here I'm going to pull the closure but first, let me just let you know how I sew the hair on. I did a horseshoe shape. I just sewed it around and secured the hair in place. Now we're going to go ahead and move along. And I'm going to show you guys how I make my closure look natural. And everyone really, really think this is my hair. So basically, I pull the hair to my natural hairline and where I would naturally part my hair. And I'm going to go ahead and just anchor it in place with my finger. And I'm going to use a natural hair gel. It's the Cantu hair gel for your edges. It doesn't flake. It doesn't have any alcohol, no silicones, none of that garbage. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to use the gel to secure my closure in place. And basically, I'm blending my natural hairline with the closure to give it a natural natural look i did not create any baby hairs or anything like that because that's not something i would have normally done i feel like if i would have created baby hairs it would have looked fake because i usually don't do baby hairs and things like that so i want it to look like 
how I would naturally do my hairline. So I'm just applying the gel. I'm not going to brush it down, comb it down, anything like that, because that's not something I would have normally done to my edges. So here I'm just going to add just a little bit of olive oil just to soften up the gel look. And that's it. That's how I make the closure look so natural. So anyways, like I said, I'm really loving this hair. I really, really love it. Um, you could wash it, condition it, whatever. It would not go into a curly state or a kinky state or a coily state. It would just be a blow out state. So you don't have to really worry about blowing the hair out or anything like that. So if you want a blowout look, this is the perfect look. And also, it's an awesome protective style. The hair also came with this, and pretty much this helps you form the pineapple method. The pineapple method. And basically, you just flip your hair over. Say if you had your hair in a curly style or what have you. You will rock this and it will look like a pineapple and then you will be able to go to sleep and then the next day you should still have your curls or your style or whatever you um, did. One of the things that I really, really love about this hair is that you can literally do nothing to it. Wash it, condition it, sew it on and keep it moving. So I went ahead and flexi rod the hair as well. I didn't add any product at all, nothing, nothing, nothing. I left the flexi rods in for a few hours and I got these beautiful soft curls. Yeah. Yeah. Not so she wants see wonder, want get high grade. From a distance, baby, I'm going insane. Red Cross, baby, come to my aid. Shorty said he busted my brain like a migraine. Your gain, my gain, your loss, my pain. Slow down, the way you go down. You know now, now me they run the whole town. King of the city, cause I wear that gold crown. So give it up for bad man, better than Batman. I didn't impress these dogs and kill these cats, man. Rats, man, these all the guys are 